Is it just me, or does Harvester sound like a really sinister name for a restaurant chain? Like you're gonna walk in there, wake up three days later in a bath of ice with half your organs missing. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Anyway, that's where we're going today. I'm walking there, a little bit of exercise. But um, yeah, hopefully the food tastes good and they refrain from harvesting my organs. <laughs> what are you talking about? the unlimited breakfast maybe next time Alright, so Harvester is what you asked for. Harvester is what you're gonna get. I'll put the calorie count on screen as soon as I've figured it out. But we got a lot of delicious food here and uh, I can't wait to get stuck in. So without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this is the ultimate Harvester cheat meal challenge. Or something like that. Cool, it's cool. Alright, so first things first, chicken wings. Ooh, that hurt my rib cage a little bit. <laughs> What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. Today we're at Harvester, and this video is another one in the mini series, kind of impromptu mini series of British institutions. Harvester is a very famous kind of foodie pub chain in England, and a lot of people asked me to do this, so I couldn't wait to give it a shot. All right, chicken wings done. They were pretty good, I'll be honest. Next, we're gonna do. The potato skins, baked potato skins. So we're starting with uh, some starters, unsurprisingly. Mm. I mean, you know this is gonna be a good meal if I'm making sounds like that already. I'm trying to get all the cheese that's stuck around the lip of the dish. And the bacon, gotta get the bacon. I think this is chicken. No, no, it's actually mac and cheese bites. Forgot what I ordered. Yeah, that's kind of a key sign that you're ordering too much food when you forget what you actually ordered. But these uh, these starters were very good. They call them tapas style starters. I think it's because you're supposed to order a few of them and you know share them between uh, people. But the mac and cheese bites were delicious, especially with that chutney. Watch this guy. <laughs> I knew that reminded me of something. A lot of people are just scared by the presence of a camera. Suspicious. Halloumi fries. Tremble like a... I'm not a huge David Bowie fan, but not bad music to eat to. Probably better than whatever you listen to over the top of this video. Yeah, you can say that again. I mean, I'm not dissing this tune, but it is... I don't know, it's a little bit soggy. Next we'll do the ribs. After I finish this piece of uh, potato skin. All right, so this thing is the original combo platter. It's not really much of a platter if you ask me. I mean, it's on a fairly large plate, but to me, a platter's gotta be on something larger and metal usually. But um, yeah, Harvester's known for cooking meat well. They've got a good reputation for that and, and this did taste good. All right, so apparently Harvester is most famous for its rotisserie chicken. I did not know that, but um, this is going to be the acid test. It is pretty good. Yeah, the chicken was pretty much as good as their reputation suggests. I never really get excited about regular grilled chicken, but this has something to it. It's got a nice smoky flavor. Ooh, crispy chicken skin. Yummy! I won't lie, I've been looking for an excuse for a long time to use that Ace Ventura scene. I got a bone. 
in the chicken. Just a chicken. I get excited about food, but not that excited. Giggity! Innuendo boxed off for this week. That was a good one. Trust me, this uh, signature gravy. Yeah, not sure what makes this signature gravy, but it tastes kind of mustardy. I spilled the gravy. Yeah, I, I did spill it, but it, it tasted great. I suppose technically I've got to eat the salad. Yeah, there's just something that seems a little bit wrong about wasting stomach space, precious stomach space on greens when you've got all this delicious, rich food sitting around your table, especially that big, giant wedge of camembert. Almost escaped. Yeah, no cheating up in here. That's the uh, the garlic and rosemary fries. Chips, sorry, chips. These are garlic and rosemary fries. And the flavor's good. The dreaded corn. I'm leaving this for now. Yeah, I've got a secret weapon for the corn this week. Just you wait and see. Next, we'll do the Angry Bird Burger. I don't think it's sponsored by Angry Birds, the, you know, app game. Also, that looks like a spicy chili, so I think I'll leave that just for now. Some chicken breast in there, some cheese, some smashed avocado. Looks good. I guess that's the angry part. <sighs> oh, this is really hot. I'm getting flashbacks to the Satan's toe. It's not that hot, but it is unpleasantly hot. Yeah, this was a uh, for a harvester. This was was really spicy. Hopefully this isn't too hot. Yeah, the chili wasn't too bad, but I don't know, there's something about that sauce there. I'm not saying the chef sabotaged it, but it was definitely hotter than I expected. It's not too bad. Ooh. Right, next, I got a whole camembert. Probably a bad idea, right? And it's hardened up a little bit now, so I can't really dip, but whatever. I'm sure it'll still be good. Straight just eating a big wheel of cheese. Why not? Just eating cheese with my fingers. This has got to go down as an early nomination for most uncouth moment of 2019. I don't know what came over me. I'm just eating camembert with my bare hands. Camembert hands. This comes with the garlic bread. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This comes with garlic bread. Close up. Look how delicious that looks. A little chutney on there now. Also comes with a Branston pickle style chutney, which was very delicious. I think it had kind of a red cabbage slaw feel to it as well. Very sweet. I have no idea what the proper etiquette is for eating an entire wheel of camembert, but that's the best I can do. Also, this is garlic bread. You what? So when Mrs. Beard finds out, she gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay does genuinely get a little bit peeved if I ever eat garlic bread without her. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, the, the garlic bread was good. Probably not a highlight of the meal, but it was it was solid. Good garlic bread. Veggies. It seemed a bit unnecessary when you just ordered a wheel of camembert. <laughs> This is from the brunch menu. Chicken, bacon, and waffles. Not traditionally British, but I'm sure it's gonna taste good. Oh man, look at that. If nothing so far has made you hungry, then that shot right there. I'm sure you're heading out to buy yourself some waffles and maple syrup as we speak. This was definitely one of the highlights for me. Can't wait to try this. Yeah, the fruit shake was, uh, was as good as it looks as well. 
I really have nothing negative to say about this meal at all. The, the only underwhelming parts, the ribs weren't fantastic, but the rest of it really made, made up for it. Look at this technique with the corn. Pro stuff, man. I better eat the corn or somebody will complain. <coughs> Never eaten corn like this before. <laughs> Good technique. Yeah, I think I finally conquered my uh, my corn demons with that. I'm not sure it's the fastest technique, but it's, it's definitely more efficient. It's dessert time now. I mean, that was technically dessert, I suppose, waffles, but... This is cherry pie. Probably gonna have to use this old cheesy fork, but what the hell? Here we go, cherry pie. I do love pie. Cherry pie. I think that was a song by White Snake. You're just a big bowl of wrong. Motley Crue, one of those terrible hair metal bands from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, that song was actually by a band called Warren. I guess they were one hit wonders. But again, the pie was fantastic. Very fruity, you know, some pies that have a lot of sugar in, not so much filling. That was uh, not the case here. I have no idea who came up with this, but they weren't thinking about practicality when they did. I don't know how you're supposed to eat slash drink this thing. And we are ending with the freak shake topped with a donut and some candy floss. Absolutely wacky concoction. I'm trying my best to keep the beard clean. The cream put a stop to it. Whipped cream, scourge of the bearded man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you the next one. Candy floss, it's been years since I had this. Such a weird thing to eat. Like edible cotton wool. I can't really tell if I'm under 30 minutes, but I'm, I'm, I'll rush this just in case. Get the straw. delicious. Do you think I was going to leave some? Left a bit of custard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to drink it. <laughs>